Hey, what's up tech friends? Elric here on the Tech and Amar YouTube channel to bring you guys an unboxing and first look at a really interesting case by the people over at BitPhoenix. This is their new Prodigy case. It's a micro ATX case. It has really cool features. It's all white and supposedly has like some really nice rubber touches on the outside. They're supposed to make it nice and soft and it's totally portable. So beyond that, let's just jump in and let's see what comes in the box. First off, I'll take my little army knife right here. It's like a little helicopter knife. Take that. Go ahead and make a quick little click. Make an incision here. Make an incision there. Make another incision here. Now, let's just show you guys some of the stuff here. Let's zip the camera to zoom in. Show you guys the front of the box right here. Then we're gonna flip it around. Let you guys see the back of the box. Here is one of the nomenclatures. It tells you this is the Arctic white version. Then we have the specifications on the side here, which we'll go over after we do the unboxing. So let's pop it open. The case top pops open right on top. And here we have the Prodigy quick installation guide. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the 80s, there was a band called Prodigy and they were like one of the craziest bands I've ever seen. They were all keyboards, wild hair, some crazy guys from England. That's the first time I saw Prodigy, that's what it reminded me. So I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Then we'll bring the case out, set it right here. We're gonna have to go out of camera range for this one. Just go ahead and take it. Pull it out of the box. Take the box and throw it at the cameraman. All right. Now let's flip this bad boy around. You guys can see it all comes completely sealed. Plastic wrap, all that good stuff. So let's just start slowly taking it apart. More stuff to throw at the cameraman. You guys know how we love that. One more to say about the cameraman. All right then. So, this thing's pretty uh, lightweight. Let me go ahead and take it out of the bag now. The unbagging of the case. It's an unboxing slash unbagging. I hate these bags because they get caught on everything in the case and just end up ripping them off anyways. All right then, kaboom. So let's start off, let's flip it around to the front. Kabling. So here's the front. Very, very simple, elegant. A single bay right here for your CD player. Everything else is all hidden back behind. Let's see if there's anything else out here to take a look at. All righty then. So the front of it, that's it. Got your little Bit Phoenix logo. Flip to the top. Two handles so you can carry it around. Also on the top, you see there's a grill right here. There's a little switch right here. You just switch that so you can remove this. This is where you mount the top two 120 millimeter fans. We'll show you now this side. Really nothing to that side. Go ahead and we will remove the side door bay. Now this one's very easy. Some of the other ones that I've tried to get off were hard. You guys have made some comments about that, but these ones are little tiny, little rubber, little feet. These particular hand screws are very easy to turn. They have a big rubber base around them to grip on your finger. And so they're very easy to remove. I had no problem with that whatsoever. I'll go ahead and remove the side of the case. You can see the inside, completely white on white. Let me go ahead and just take that and set that back to the back. Let's look inside of here. Here's our accessories, little thing right here. Pop this open, let me use the trusty knife one more little time over here. Make another little cut. Here's the accessories package. This has all the different stuff that you need to mount fans and stuff inside the case. Now, one thing that's really true about this case is that they say that this is made so that you can use a water cooler in it. Now, that's gonna be really interesting. If you put a CD player in here on the top, I don't believe you're gonna be able to use the water cooler. Here now we take a look at the interior of the case. Now, inside of the Prodigy, you can see that you can mount a dual rad right here on top, but there will be a drawback to that. If you put the dual rad in here, you're not gonna have a place for your CD player. So if you don't care about having a CD player, and some people don't, you can put the dual rad in here and you can have a completely enclosed water cooling system in this little tiny thing. All the bays easily pull out. They're all type you just bend, place your drive inside of it, easy lock, completely tool free, slides back in. 
You got other sliding stuff. You can actually move this entire cage out of here. The entire cage pulls out. So you guys can see we can remove the cage. Additionally, then when I move the cage, we can see the front fan mounted right here on the front. It's a little bit hard to see, but you guys can see that. There's the front fan that comes with it. It has an adoption. If you want to use another one in there, I don't know where you'd put it, but uh, that one should be enough. You can see down here is where the power supply is going to mount. It comes with all the screws and everything right here. So you just put it in there, mount it, close it. You're good to go. Now we show you the rear of the case. You can see there's a single rear fan here. So the front one's going to be bringing air in. This one's going to be taking air out for airflow. Now we'll go ahead and remove the other side panel. Once again, we see these little two thumb screws. Very easy to use. Now before I move the side panel, I just want to swing it around. I want to show you guys this. Here on the side, we can see we have the power button, the reset button, the mic button, headphone button, and two USB 3.0 ports. Now let's go ahead and remove the side panel. Okay, I was going to try to remove the side panel, which you can move, but I would not suggest it. I don't know if the camera can get the camera inside there and see this, but you can see that all those connections are wired in there. So at this point, there's really no reason for me to just pull this off. I don't want to take a chance of taking the wires out. But at least you guys can see that. It's kind of a strange design to be on the side like that. Maybe it won't hurt anything later on. So last but not least, let's flip it around. Now let's talk about the features of this new little project case by BitPhoenix. Now the materials, the case is made of steel and plastic. It comes in two different colors, either black, black or white, white. Its dimensions are 250 by 404 by 359 millimeters. It's mini ITX only. It has one removable 5.2 bay. It has five 3.5 bays, three plus two are modular. It also has, a, this is far hard to believe, but it says it has times nine 2.5 inch drive bays, five plus two plus one plus one. Now, as far as the cooling goes, you get options. It comes with a single 120 millimeter fan, but it has an option for an additional one as well. Cooling for the rear, it includes a 120 millimeter fan, but it also has an option for 140 millimeter as well. On the top, you get 120 millimeter, but these are optional, none come with the case. PCI slots, there are two. The IO is USB 3.0 by two, HD audio. The power supply supports PS2 ATX on the bottom. It says multi-directional. It also says it comes with a little bit of extras. It comes with the FiberFlex composite handles, soft touch surface treatment, filtered intake, and tool-free drive locking. So that's it, folks. If you're really into small stuff and you want a case that's totally portable, that's white, you like that color, this might be the thing for you. Now, the only drawback I might see is if you want to do water cooling, you will have to sacrifice, that's right, you'll have to sacrifice the CD player if you want to use a dual rad. Beyond that, the little project case is nice. There are no sharp edges in it whatsoever. It's made nicely. It's very easy to use. I'm looking forward to building a system and checking it out further. So see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.